be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired? Today is Friday and I typically film these videos on Monday to start the beginning and the progression of a week. But because this coming Monday, there are a few out school projects in the works and I don't know if I have somebody coming here or if I'm going somewhere yet, but it would just make more sense to start on a Friday and then once I get things in writing solidified, Monday will make more sense if and when it does happen on Monday. A lot of things are still in the air and I'll explain everything as soon as things are you know concrete and in writing but for right now i have one hour i just posted last week's vlog today is friday july 30th so the last friday of the month and no by july ends on sunday i am so pumped if you have missed those live streams i'm gonna put them up above in the cards but we did an entire month of no buy so we've been saving money to pay off this car so uh, this Sunday, like 48 hours from now on August 1st, I'm doing a final live stream sharing how much of this car I had paid off, pros and cons of doing no spend, and then just like the results. But right now I am going to the grocery store. So it's gonna be really quick, gotta pick some things up. I've got class in just under an hour. For dinner tonight, I'm thinking of making that like feta pasta that was super popular on TikTok because I have all those cherry tomatoes in the house and I'd rather use them in a recipe here at home. I don't think I have enough to do the whole thing, so I'm gonna pick some up at the store. I am not going to take the camera into the grocery store because that's just kind of awkward, plus there are still a lot of people there that wanna keep socially distant and I don't have any of their consent to film, so I will see you guys at the house after grocery shopping. We are back, we have made it. There are 22 minutes till class. Go ahead and turn the kitchen lights on and do a really quick haul, show you guys what I got. Uh, like I said in the car, I wanna use my garden's cherry tomatoes and make that feta pasta. So I don't think this is enough. A couple cherry tomatoes. I'll use probably about half, three quarters of these and then I'll cut the leftovers because I'm doing taco bowls this week for dinner, so needed those. As well for taco bowls, I got an onion to dice up, a bunch of avocados. We are an avocado toast slash so uh, salads and bowls family here, and it's just quick and easy. Uh, can't do feta pasta without some feta. I moved you guys up here because a certain kitten was trying to get in the shot. Oh, another avocado. Again, because we are doing taco bowls. Also got some ground beef for that. So Sunday is my meal prep day if you're new around here. I also keep my plastic bags because I use them to pick up trash around the house and to clean up after someone's litter. Uh, also got some strawberries. If you guys are new around here as an online teacher who works from home, I like to do bento box snacks. So I've got like actual bento boxes and I'll put nuts and berries and cheese and meat in them. So I always get fresh berries, um, taco bowls, the base instead of rice because I am still in the process of trying to eat healthy and cut out uh, processed carbs. I'm doing baby spinach on the bottom of my taco bowls to do avocado toast and my husband's a big sandwich person, just some bread. This was actually a fairly simple and quick grocery run. Normally we need to get a few other things, but we have kind of developed a habit from no by July to plan out dinners before we go grocery shopping. And that has really helped lower our bills. Also fun fact, these are the Reese cups I made in last week's vlog. I made these for my friends from when they came to swim at my pool and then completely forgot about them. So friends, if you're watching these, I will bring these the first week of school when I sit in the parking lot and cheer you on as you go in to teach. Test one, audio check one, check one, two. We are good to go. You guys, I am shocked. I got in the car and started this vlog at 3.12. It is now 3.52 p.m. So I got to the store, stuck with my post-it list. I looked really cool walking through with like an orange post-it. Got home and put everything away. Here, I normally don't cut it that close. I'm normally like, I have to teach at four, I need to be home by three. But today I was like, let's do it, it's Friday. Today's schedule was fairly light actually. I did 
9 to 10 a.m. And then I've worked most of the day, working on just various things that you'll see next week. And then this afternoon, it is four to five. I've got two classes. One of these is an ongoing class that is ending today. I have taught it for 36 weeks. I have been with these kids since October 23rd of 2020. That is insane. This is our very last meeting. Yes. If you didn't know, if you're finishing an ongoing class, you have until the second that class ends to add a class time. So if I look at my screen right now, I can see add a class meeting, but if I wait until the end of class, it will say there are no more class meetings for this. And these learners know that I am giving 4.30 on Fridays to another project that is off of the OutSchool platform. So if they want to continue taking this class, they'll have to wait two weeks because I don't have any of this offering until mid-August, but then I will leave them those options. So my tip to you with all of this jabber is if you have ongoing classes and you're ending a section, invite the students that are in that section if they want to keep continuing on with you. My learners for this specific class know that this content rotates on a 16 week basis. And then there are some weeks that I will throw in wild cards. It's a, a theater script reading class. So they know what to expect. So if they want to jump back in and try new things, they are more than welcome. But if they do not, it's totally fine. But just keeping them in the know, I would never just stop this class and then not talk to them anymore. These are high school kids. I teach primarily ages eight to 18 and this group, my youngest is 13 and she's in here by special request from the parents. Everybody else in this class, there's nine of them, are between the ages of 15 and 18 years old. Um, unrelated to these classes that I'm setting up for, August is a very interesting and busy time. I call this like the redo wedding season. All of our friends who were supposed to get married in 2020 pushed their weddings back to like late summer, fall of 2021. So we are traveling a lot next weekend, the weekend after. We're heading to Pittsburgh this coming weekend for an outdoor, it's called a wedding, but they're te it's technically a vowel renewal because these couples already were in contracts for mortgages, buying houses, and they were just like, listen, it's so much easier to legally be married. I get it, I would've done the same thing. In preparing for this and trying to still eat healthy and you know make good choices and work out and drink my water, I went and bought a dress originally made by the company Gal Meets Glam, but I bought it off of Poshmark. Poshmark is like a resale shop for clothes because Gal Meets Glam shut its doors. They do not sell anymore. And those dresses were like three to $400 a piece. I got a dress for $60, tag still on it, but I bought it one size smaller. I already knew my size. I was a size 10 in Gal Meets Glam because I got my engagement pictures. I'll show one here. My engagement photo shoot, I wore a dress from Gal Meets Glam back in 2019. And so I thought to myself, let's push ourselves for, for a month and we'll order a dress one size down. Well, you guys, that dress came today as I was carrying in my groceries. So I have not yet tried it on. When we're done with classes here, I will go in, take the tags off. It's a pink dress. I'll show you a picture of it on the screen. And then after I teach, I will go and try that on. It's Friday, it's almost five o'clock. Classes from four to five, and then we'll go try a dress on, and then we'll go make some feta pasta and see if OutSchool has gotten back to me with one of these projects that they've messaged me about. Sorry to be so vague about it, I just don't wanna have to like change stories left and right. I just wanna make sure I have the concrete updates when they come to me. But guys, I'll see you in an hour. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play, though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid to give it all to me This looks so good, and it has cherry tomatoes from the garden The fresh chopped basil is also from the garden I've never actually cooked or put my basil or spearmint into anything if you have any recommendations for things I could make in addition to this with cherry tomatoes, basil, or spearmint, because those are the only things, let me know in the comments. So this is the dress. It definitely needs steamed. The tags are still on it, but it is pink. I like it because it has thicker straps and I love the bow on the chest and the decolleté. Am I saying that right? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Three, two, one. Oh, you guys, it is lovely. Actually, 
Hold on, this mirror might do it a little bit more justice. Once again, this is Gal Meets Glam. They are my favorite dress company. I'm very sad that at least right now they are not in business. These dresses are such nice quality. This fabric is beautiful. This dress has pockets on both sides. I love to, as a goal, go from a size 10, now I'm at an eight, but to get down to a six. That'd be like my number one goal, but this, there's actually a little bit of room here. And again, I like the bow right here. So that's this dress. I'm gonna go finish the feta pasta and I will catch up with you guys later this weekend. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better train this week so scrambled eggs avocado black coffee also a lot of you guys were recommending not to do a weigh-in on monday if it's kind of like my reset day from the weekend so i'm taking that into consideration and today i did not weigh in it is monday by the way and i did not weigh in at all i'm gonna eat this lunch and then get ready to teach i will give you all the updates from today i'm sure this probably looked really weird getting ready but there is a reason to all of it and I'll give you all the updates with interviews and fall campaign projects and all the fun stuff later today. Yo, check one, check one, two. You guys, class starts in 90 seconds. So what I'm gonna do, since I'm here for three hours, I have just used the restroom, brushed my teeth, fresh water, I've got the fan on the desk, and now I will have an oscillate back and forth while I teach. This just kind of helps keep the airflow. It is still 72 out. The coffee shop I went to this morning was freezing. And again, I'll give you guys further updates about interviews and everything. Today was supposed to be the full on interview, but with uh, communication and schedule outside of my control, basically with the office and reporters, we have pushed it back one week. I do have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session today where I'm gonna meet with my assigned reporter. I already talked to him a little bit this morning and he already let me know that he would prefer not to have his face or voice be in this vlog. I explained through email that I was a vlogger and online teacher and everything. So I'll have B-roll shots of me in a meeting with him after this class, but we won't show any of his face or his voice. I'll ask later when we do things in person if that changes, but for right now, interview number one, we have like part one coming up later today. So gotta go, class is about to start. Not believe I'm still in this sweatshirt. Um, classes are all done for the day. I just finished a meeting. One was just through email and getting a bunch of 
request forms filled out and just a bunch of different agreements that are happening between now and December. And then I did an actual like Zoom meeting with a news anchor or a reporter. That's the word I was looking for. I am, I am out of it. Like doing interviews at the end of the day is rough for me because my brain is just so, I'm done. I've done so much. But yes, I was speaking to a reporter and we are setting things up. And then I had to jump back to the main office at Out School, which if you didn't know is three time zones behind. So communicating with them, it's not tricky, but I have to remember like sending something to them at 9 a.m. at 6 a.m. their time. So working on that. Right now I'm just sending them the forms they asked for and some documentations. And again, the interviewer that I'm working with here, or I'm sorry, the reporter I'm working with here has requested, at least right now, to not be in any of my vlogs, that they have a strict policy about social media usage in their newsroom, but she's not sure if that applies to me because I am not faculty there, so we will see how that goes. Right now, I can't believe I'm saying this, so school starts in three weeks for my teaching staff at my old school and I'm still on teacher text chains. So I have offered for teachers to come swim at my pool. They're picking up Taco Bell. Um, I am getting my first vegetarian order of Taco Bell and I'm very excited about it. Spicy, soft tacos, pintos and cheese, cinnamon twists. I didn't say it was healthy. I just said it was vegetarian option. So that is my one weekday non-keto, non-low-carb meal. I've eaten completely like on schedule the whole rest of the day. You saw my breakfast, I had my bento snack, but now is the time to just take in the evening and have fun because I know in three weeks, I'm not going to see these people like nearly as much as I do now. So this is living. This is the balance that we all talk about. So it was a good day today. I will catch up with you guys either later today or tomorrow. I'll try to catch some footage at the pool if I can, if I take my cannon. But as of right now, it looks like out school interview is a go for next Monday and two projects are coming in the fall with their outreach program, out school's outreach program. So I'll keep you guys posted. I really hope I hear a, a definitive yes or no if I can take you guys with me to the interview, even if it's just on me. If not, I'll put some B-roll in here. We'll slice it up the best way we can. And I hope you guys had a great Monday. I will catch you guys later. Okay, I lied. I said I was gonna see you guys later tonight or tomorrow, but I'm actually gonna take you with me right now. It is 5.12. I should clean out this inbox and I should keep working on tomorrow's upload, but we're gonna be responsible and we're gonna put our swimsuit on now and we're going to go to the marketplace and make sure that all my friends have things that they need for taco nights. So, grabbing my car keys, grabbing my driver's license, and heading to the store. The category is language. Which of these English words comes from French? Water, fire, prairie, or apple? Prairie. Solid choice. Hey! Prairie, yeah. brilliant. All right, all the sweatshirts off, the swimsuits on. Let's go make a quick run and then we're gonna get some tacos. Putting the bento box snack away. Oh. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. You guys, am I the only one who would just love to have a wine cabinet in their house? Step one is for getting in the car, pandemic or not. Germs do not discriminate, and I don't got time to be sick. What to listen to on the way home? Good morning, you guys. I know this is not the uh, most flattering angle, but someone is going to get very spoiled today because they go to the event. They go to the event tomorrow. But happy Tuesday, everyone. I just got word as I was up here finishing an edit. I did think I would get done. Are, are you trying to sneak off? It is currently 9.30. My 10 o'clock class just emailed and said it is sold out. So uh, 10 kids. And the Teacher Talk Tuesday episode I'm editing right now is all about funneling. 
This is a one-time class that introduces a lot of new students to me and my classroom and what I teach, and then it will funnel into an ongoing option or a flex option or a camp option. I have three follow-up options for this one-time class. And this one-time class does stand on its own. It's not like a commercial for the others, but if the child does like it, you do not like this. They have the option to try other classes as well. Um, if I finish that Teacher Talk Tuesday by the time this video is going live, I'll link it up above, or you can just check it out on the main channel. But it is, again, 9.30 on Tuesday. Last night was great seeing my teacher friends and hearing all their stories about professional development, getting back in the classrooms and everything, and I'm very excited for them. I just know that it will be a culture shock when I'm not there with them in three weeks doing all of this, but... It is what it is, and I'm very excited for whatever the future holds on this end. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here since the interviews that were supposed to start yesterday are gonna start next week. I'm gonna finish this vlog here, and then next week's vlog, I will put as much footage as I can from the interview. Again, once it's solidified, I just know that it's next Monday at a certain time. We have not actually picked out a definite location yet, so I'll let you know. They're also gonna send me, I think, questions to be prepared for and then they want a bunch of footage so I've got a lot of stuff that needs to be put together for that we are also going out of town for the weekend you guys saw that dress in the beginning of the vlog and I will see you in next week's teacher talk Tuesday and next Friday's vlog make sure you guys are subscribed and I'll see you then bye good morning you guys it is Thursday August 5th I am in the middle of this edit and I just wanted to pop on at the end of the video and let you know that I am going to be taking the next two weeks off from YouTube. I am so tired. I just find myself always rushing to get videos done on top of classes and projects and things that you've obviously seen in this vlog. So you'll have a video coming out next Tuesday because that's already set and ready at this time and potentially one the week after, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of time off just to kind of get barriers set. That is my other road that you hear. So have a great week, you guys. I'll be back here before you know it. Make sure if you've not already done so, subscribe. I will share everything that was unfinished in this vlog, so I will try my best to film my interviews and my travel and everything else that's going on. Also, the morning of me filming this little announcement is the morning that a lot of ESL companies have been announcing that they are closing their doors in the future, so thoughts to you guys. If anybody's trying to reach out or branch out to other companies, I do have this video right here, which is eight platforms for self-made classes. And I believe all of them, most if not all, are based in the US. So if you are looking for other options, just as a resource, I'll put that video down below in the description box. Carry on, you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you on Tuesday of next week. Bye.